drop the hero, and get with the zero. Yeah, you heard me right. Welcome to Searching for Tone. Today, I'd like to talk about selling gear online. And we know that there's been so many different avenues to sell gear before and how reverb became the thing because they battled ebay with the high exorbitant prices then ebay came back and started matching their prices and then now we have sweet water and not many of you probably really know about it but it's a really great way to sell gear especially if you're looking to return that investment and just buy more gear because they offer zero fees if you get a Sweetwater gift card. So it's pretty awesome and you save so much money on and it's also good from a buyer standpoint because you could probably get it a little bit lower on Sweetwater than the person taking the bath on Reverb paying those fees. So that's probably a good place for you to start looking. And from my overall first opinion of selling gear on there, it's been great so far. The only caveat is the first time, and I don't remember from Reverb if the same happened, your first purchase, you won't get your um, credit towards your Sweetwater account until about a day or two after it's actually delivered to the person that you uh, sent it to. And then after that, I believe it is from the time that you actually send it out and it gets scanned at whatever you know company you use for that. So it's pretty cool. The funds will be in your account to use. But if you don't want to use it at Sweetwater, then they have really the same fees as Reverb. So why wouldn't you want to do it? We're going to also talk about the guitar that we're getting rid of, why we're getting rid of it. And let's just head on over to the computer and show you how I did everything. It's not too difficult, but I'll show you what it looks like and the professional kind of storefront you can get out of this thing. Alrighty, so we're in the gear exchange website after you sign up for everything you put in you know your all your information where you live and then you also want to fill out the 1099 or w9 tax form so that it speeds up the process when you do sell if not after your first sale of over i believe 699 it will prompt you to do that we're going to just put in some information here we're going to be selling a guitar and it's really cool because it comes up with some stuff already pre-populated and you could choose them and it'll have a little thing for you already kind of spelled out with all the information here or you could just do list manually which what we did for our guitar and we sold a fender I'm not going to go too much into the actual because i'll show you the listing after we're done but you're just going to fill out all these categories right here go guitars solid body right-handed condition and then it kind of gives you a, a little bit of a guidance on what they expect each type of rating for and then you can put in the decade and serial number if you want it if you're not going to include it in a picture and then you can add up to 25 photos and i suggest having as many as possible because it helps with if someone says oh i didn't see that so you just have 25 photos ready to go you could edit them here by switching which one is going to be your first uh, in order and setting the, the first one's the primary and then you can actually flip them in here too which is really cool for some reason you know put it in the wrong way and then you just put in description You can do delivery method, you can either do shipping or local pickup, depending on what you choose. If you do shipping only, then it's going to ask you for a shipping price. You can either charge for shipping or you do free shipping. I usually do free shipping and kind of consider that into the, the factor of the, the cost. And it helps just like make things much easier. I kind of took a little bit of a bath on the one that I sold for the shipping purposes and you could do a shipping estimator if you know the the size of the package and the weight of everything you can just put the price in here and put in that and it will show you how much you'll get based on the fees the fee schedule or if you're doing a gift card you're going to get that full amount and you just check here which one you want also when sweetwater runs sales if you check this little box here 
you get 10% discount to it. Unfortunately, you eat that. It's not something that Sweetwater eats, but it will gain you a little bit extra viewage in the, uh, in the platform. And this is kind of like before you publish it, you look at it, but here we'll show you what it actually was for us. And this is exactly how it shows. Right up here, it looks like a professional Sweetwater listing. It will show down below here as well. And some other, you know, if you were to click on a different guitar, yours might pop up there, but you get all these different listings. And if you're selling multiple things, it has, you can set up a nice little storefront. You've seen the banner before. It looks like a, a pretty legit, you know, shop right here. Currently sold out. Hopefully we get some more stuff from you guys uh, sending in some uh, Patreons or memberships when we start them up. And you can find stuff here, but it's really a cool way to go. Save yourself a little dough by selling it and just buying more stuff. You're probably asking why would I get rid of something like this so iconic? Well, thanks to Marsha T out there, we have just started our clock rolling on our Patreon giveaways. And if you don't know that, you should check out the video that will be in the description. But we're basically giving away guitars to our Patreon members. So need to sell this to actually get something that uh, is new or relatively new that we'll review. You're probably saying could have maybe given this away, but you know, what I do for the fans. But nonetheless, we really had some excellent um, luck getting rid of this thing within a matter of a day on the gear exchange. So I'm gonna restring this thing up and package it up nicely for the uh, person who bought this. And then we're gonna have to start scouring Sweetwater to find out what we're gonna be giving away. Well, that about wraps it up. Hopefully this converts you over to the Sweetwater game because it's really cool that they offer you that option of the zero fees. I don't know how much money I've lost over the years of buying something and then selling it and then having to pay for shipping. And it's just really cool to be able to reinvest that money. And unfortunately, all of the platforms now do make you fill out a 1099 over a certain amount, unless you're doing it on Marketplace. But this channel is completely 100 legit for all tax purposes. This is probably the way we're going forward. You've all been a fantastic audience. And as always, stay tuned.